Hello everyone, if you have purchased or you're trialling one of our version 5 active panels you may want to know what some of the buttons on the front are for. If you ever used or saw our version 4 panels you will have noticed that the buttons are all on the sides. On version 5 they've come back to the front. So clearly to turn the panel on we're going to look for that power button there and when we click it our screen should come to life. If it doesn't just check your um, power cord connections and the mains power is turned on. The next button along, the snowflake button, this is a really useful button because it freezes the screen. So if for example there is a piece of work that the students are still looking at, reading or discussing up on the panel but you want to move to the next uh, part of your lesson on your computer, you can click freeze and the students will still see what's on the screen and when you're ready you click the freeze button again and the new screen that you've got ready loaded on your computer will show up. To change the volume you can click either the plus or the minus to turn the volume up or down. Now on the version 4 panel you used to have to click 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 however many uh, times or how many segments up or down you wanted to move the volume. You can still do that on the version 5 panel. However, you can also simply click one of those buttons once and then use your finger to drag the blob on the screen <laughs> up or down to turn the volume up or down. The next button along is a new one. So um, we did have a lot of feedback from people who had flies in their classroom hopping across the top of their infrared panels and accidentally setting off actions or things that they didn't want um, on the screen. Um, and we also had some people who perhaps like me are a little bit flamboyant with their gestures when they're um, in front of the screen and if they were vaguely pointing towards something on the screen they accidentally set something off. So we've introduced this button. It's kind of similar to the freeze button in many ways because the screen will become um, non-interactive when you click this button. So you are able to turn touch off as you might be able to gather from that symbol. If that's selected your screen will not respond to touch so you can gesture away the flies can hop away on your screen and nothing's going to happen to turn touch back on just click that button now i do have to mention that with this one and with the freeze button these would be the first things i would check if my screen is not interacting with touch or pen or stylus um, then i would double check that i don't have either freeze or this turned on or off as the case may be okay now perhaps the most important button that we need to look at is this button here this is our source button and when we click the source button on our screen of our panel we will have all of the dis different sources we could choose from so as you may be aware we've got multiple inputs on our panel um, you're able to tell what is plugged in because as you can see by the arrows pointing to those two you may notice green dots next to the icon there that tells me that those are the two sources that I have things plugged into in this instance you may also notice at the top there that we have, by popular demand, reintroduced a VGA connection to the version 5 active panel. Um, it seems the world had not quite moved fully over to HDMI and the HDMI to VGA converter that we had thrown in as a bit of a, in case we need it, was in fact needed <laughs> and it wasn't quite up to the job. So we've reintroduced the VGA connection on the panel as one of the sources that you can plug in. Now speaking about sources, 
Something else that you will notice on the front of your active panel is this. Okay, so you have one of those sources that we just looked at on the front of your panel now. So you can plug in an HDMI and a touch USB into the front of your panel. Um, you know, it's a win some, lose some. Some people like connections on the front. Some people don't like connections on the front. So we're trying to keep everybody happy. We've got some connections around the back and one source connection at the front, which means that it's nice and easy to plug um, an additional computer into the screen. We also have this, which is a powered USB port. This is excellent for plugging in little extras such as USB microphones or USB webcams um, and because it's powered it will actually power up something so you know you could if you wanted to charge your phone off that one. So hopefully this has helped explain some of the buttons that are on your version 5 active panel.